All right, here we go. I feel like Rob prone to getting parried, and uh, if anybody is going to expose that, it will be Jazo himself. Oh, yep, Ken stuff going coming through. I know there's an input in there somewhere. All right, Rob stuff coming through. Both going doop, doop, doop on each other's shields. Shout out Loaster. All right, all right. Back to the neutral, even game going on, but he finds a down throw in the up tilt as well. That's not gonna close out the stock, but big scary things happening here. Oh, that side beat, but no punt. Okay, he does find the dupe dupe. Oh, I thought he was gonna confirm in a short you can, but I guess that's enough to get the job done. Yeah, Jaza's parries hit different. All right, all right, up to it as well. Needs to close out this stock soon before things get out of hand, and it's looking like that's the case at the moment. Jaza just too solid. Nice grab. Yep. You gotta be a god to mash out of that one. Or a bot. Okay. Card. <laughs> I think I seen uh, Vendetta do it once before. But it was with Ryu. Right, I'm trying to see some more dupe dupes on shield. Okay, it can come from either side. Down air, landing. You got the gyro for the ledge trap. That's brutal when you're robbing your gyro gets used against you. Yep. Doop doop into the input. Uh, I forget what it's called, but I know you got to, like, draw a half circle and press A. Yeah, car cancel, sure you. Looks pretty saucy. All right, he's been using a lot of these down throws. Like that da up tilt in the up air. I guess at that percent. Oh, and that is going to be the stock. Oh, my God. Ken got that air game. And that is certainly going to be the game. Let's see, JV2 for Jazzo. All right, so we hear Kalos and Northern, as well as FD, have been banned. Thinking hard about this third. Wow, that man listed off them bans. I heard Smashville, which also bans Hollow Bastion. But I don't see how... I, I get it, they both got one platform in the middle, but like... <laughs> Gentleman's of Wario Wear. I'd, I'd be down for that. But, like, Hollow is so much bigger than Smashville. They play entirely differently. So I don't I don't know if I agree with the Umbrella Band. But I think we just got too many maps here in general. All right, here we go. All right, a lot more patient play coming out from Rob Slayer off the bat. Definitely do not want to interact with Ken. I mean, that man is the king of 40%, like, three pieces. All 
Okay. Okay, a little five, six piece. I'm sorry. He didn't want the kids meal. Yep, and there's the Jazzo signature. I'm going to parry everything you throw at me and get a massive punish off of every single one. Keep coming back, though. Oh, but did he just get robbed? Nice edge guard from Rob Slayer. And now he is going to smile and wave. Oh my god. This man's going for the timeout. I mean, how can you? Okay, that's smart though. I don't know if he thought about this in his pick, but the platform going away is a big deal. Um, okay, and that is going to be the stock. Second he came back to stage. It was funny when he was floating up there with his uh, robo burner. Uh, he like looked away from the screen like he just knew that Jaza was not going to get out there. Maybe a little bit too much confidence though as he is in an even stock game now. That gyro just causes so many things to happen in Rob's favor. Just gonna keep hitting him with the projectiles. No reason to approach here. And the second that you have to interact with Ken, that's what happens. Oh, come on, you gotta know your gyro's on the stage. Okay, probably gonna stall out on this platform again for a while. I don't know if the, the lead right now warrants that, but I mean, you aren't going to see Ken get the timeout. I learned how to play Ken from watching Jizzo. Yeah, Jizzo got the Ken that keeps on coming. Rob's like having none of it, though. He's going high. He don't want to come back down. Okay, he finds the up air. Looking for the back air, but good jump out of disadvantage there. Wants to find this hit to get another Rob advantage to stay going, but... Or he's just gonna... I mean, honestly, I think chip damage is the way to win this one. And he's getting a lot of it right now. I don't know. He, he got caught by like gyro, laser, gyro all in a row. I like that shark messing up the timing of his uh, jab spam. Okay. I think uh, part of the reason that Rob Slayer went here is because Jazo likes to position himself under the platform uh, so that you can stay so grounded and get those parry punishes. Um, and because this never really has a configuration that gives him a platform to camp under. So I think this map pick was actually really smart. So we're going to have to see what he bans if he does manage to win this game and then what Jazzo picks in return. Not saying this game is over by any means. I've seen Jazzo make these comebacks time and time again. <laughs> He's going under. Okay, that was interesting. I think he threw out the up air and then just insta snap to ledge, but it would have definitely caught him lacking uh, that little one hit from the up air. That's going to be the stock, though. Can you close out this stock? All right, we know Jaza likes to shield, so tomahawk grab him. That's my call on this. I, I don't think you can hear me, so no coaching. I want to see the risky tomahawk grab, down throw, up smash, no mash. But he needs to get to the ground. Oh, whoa, oh, that was almost hype.
I'd be scared to whiff a grab against Josh. Okay. You got the edge guard, but the focus gonna let Jazo hang on oh no oh no is that enough and it is town and city oh my god that rage like I said time and time again he finds the way to make it happen good play on both sides I wanted to see game three 